Ooh. Ooh. My low. Check and then I want to do another combo like that. I'm also going to do it with the sandwich. I'll do the Kick and Kaylin as well on wheat. In one side. Um, I'm going to do a soup as well. So let me try your loaded potato soup. I'll try that. Thank you. You as well. What's up, Tech Gang? It's your girl, Maya. And it's your boy, Daniel here. And we are back with another MD Takeover video. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But y'all, before we get into this video, make sure you start to do it, like this video, comment down below, hit that subscribe button. If you're new to our channel, we welcome y'all to the Takeover Gang. We have a new video for y'all every Tuesday and every Thursday, and trust me, you don't want to miss it. So as y'all can probably hear, look y'all, we out here and these people roll it. Oh, it's raining. Way. If anybody got time for this, we're gonna make this video outside. quick, fast, and in a hurry. It's just as good. And it is, but y'all, we're at the people, if y'all can see that, chicken salad chick, chicken salad chick. That's what we eating at today. Sis, tell them what we ordered. I don't know what I ordered. <laughs> Lord, so chicken. I ordered, what, 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 we got the same thing, eh? Yeah, so chicken salad chick is a chicken salad place. So they got chicken salad, it's, it's, it's like, it's like all different kinds of flavors and, 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 and things. So we, we got chicken salad. So you can get your chicken salad as a scoop or you can get it as a sandwich depending on how you want to eat it. So we got ours as yeah, sandwiches. Yeah, We got the, um, the Kaylin. They said it's like, it's kind of like buffalo and sriracha. You got cheese in there. You got bacon and all of that. We got it on wheat. I got mine with a little lettuce and tomato. And then we got a little here with a little soup. The little I feel soup. like I should've got mine with lettuce and tomato. But it is what it is. Should've could've would've. Yeah, it come with a little cookie, a little sugar cookie. And a pickle. You want this pickle? Yeah, I know they don't like pickles. I sure don't. Also, who was that? Um, Ace Eats. You ain't have to come for me for taking off my pickles during my prank. The Lord will hear my prank whether my eyes are open or closed. Sure. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the video. Yeah, Father God, we just want to thank you, Lord God, for yet another day, Lord God. Yet another day to be in your presence and in front of your people, Lord God. Whatever you want to happen in this video, Lord God, we just ask that you would just have your way. Secondly, Lord God, we just ask that you would just bless this food. Let it be a nourishment to our bodies. Bless the hands that prepare it and the mouth that it shall feed. And it's in your son Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Now you said amen and I thought a total praise. All right, y'all. So, look at the sandwich. Get our ass. Can y'all see that? So obviously you got a very thick layer of chicken salad. I got my lettuce and I got my tomato. And it ain't that cheap lettuce, because baby, I don't like the iceberg. We got <laughs> some good romaine and it's on some wheat bread. It's been toasted. And then it's I- thick. It is, it thickums. Was... Oh, it, we shared it last. We did share it oh, last okay. time. So we, we've tried this place before, but we were skeptical. So we ain't never have it. But let's go ahead and try it with sandwich. I never chicken salad going on. I did when, when it was good. I don't taste bad without the lettuce and the tomato. But I pretty, it probably tastes better with the lettuce and tomato. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Y'all look at that. We have. So I have, uh, I was about to say chicken tortilla. That's what we got last time. <laughs> I have loaded potato soup and Maya has um, broccoli, broccoli and, and cheese. That is good to me. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna get into this soup. I, don't, I guess it's just raining weather because we were just sitting here talking. We had that soup in our last video. I think it's that raining weather that's just telling me soup, soup, soup. Yeah, this was the, this was the, oh, oh, I ain't, I ain't trying to spill it, but this what the potato soup looked like. Can y'all see that? Get into it. So. This is good. It is. This potato soup, it's a little thick. Oh, look at the cheese pour, look at the cheese pour. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I love a good cheese pour. And you know what you gotta do afterwards? So you gotta take that cheese and you just wrap it. No, you gotta use your tongue. Show that tongue work now. <laughs> Baby, I be trying to keep it PG on the <laughs> YouTube channel, but. I think we I was skeptical for a chicken salad because it's kind of the same consistency as tuna and I don't like tuna. Did it you? For one, it tastes like cream of potato. Your potato soup don't have to be this thick, baby. 
I'm gonna, let me try it one more time. I'm gonna try to do it. Baby, that's mashed potatoes. <laughs> that is not no soup. That is mashed potato. That, that is never a mashed potato. That, that really is a mashed potato. It just needs a little more season and it needs to be thinner for me. Once again, if y'all knew the area we was in. And that's why they got a chicken salad and chicks. Why this we need a little touching. Well, we, <laughs> we grew up, they didn't sell chicken salad like that. But this chicken salad is quite delectable. I got to give them that. It's quite delectable. Mm -hmm. Now see me on the other hand. Mm -hmm. I got broccoli and cheddar. With the cheese ball. Yeah, it was looking a little thick of stew. Mm -hmm. It's thinner than that. It's, baby, anything yeah, is thinner, thinner than that. It's thinner than the mashed potatoes they said up and gave you. And I forgot to ask for no ice in my water. But I don't like no cold water. Get a little piece with the the broccoli and cheddar is good too. It need a little more salt and pepper because I know that's it. probably about all they put in there. I know that's probably about all they put in there. Salt and pepper. Mm. <laughs> we just gonna go to other other restaurants that's not on our exit. <laughs> Baby, I'm just gonna stop ordering soup at these places because it's it's been a soup that's been. A hard miss. But but no, when we were here that the other time we got the chicken tortilla soup, the chicken tortilla was actually good. They had chicken tortilla soup? Yes, we got last time. Oh. The chicken tortilla was good. Anyway, y'all. We're going to do a little Q&A. Mm. It's just oozing out the side. I love a, a well-endowed sandwich. <laughs> what? I love a well-endowed sandwich. I do. Anyway, for, the, for those of y'all that are new to our channel, welcome once again. Bienvenido. My name is Maya. This is my brother, Daniel. Me amo, Daniel. And we are brother and sister. Get it right. Because <laughs> somebody commented, <laughs> talking about some beautiful couple. I said, girl, well. <laughs> Ain't nothing coupling about this. I forgot about that. <laughs> a couple of siblings. Okay. Not a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway, let me see what questions I want. Baby, it's the it's the way this waffle iron halfway toasted that that bread. It, just, it, it left off a piece. No. Yeah, yeah me and Dan ain't doing nothing all day. Anyway. I went to the doctor. Um, well, I ain't doing another. all day. Tara, which was, I should have canceled that appointment. That was a fifty dollars copay that I ain't have to pay for nothing. Since she was like, "You good?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm good." Like, all right, see you in a year, man. Okay. And then I was mad because you know how dealing when that when you when you schedule a follow appointment, they schedule it yourself. Come on, some you could schedule it on the app. Can you do it right now? Hey, so what I'm paying y'all for? Um. But anyway, go on and ask the that question. That ain't never told me that. My son, well, you know when places have apps, tell my son, because they want you to use the app now. So I got to come into the, baby, I checked in on the app. I already used the app when I see my mental health professional. Um, now I got to schedule on the app too when I'm in the building. But anyway, question. All those in favor say aye, aye. Are you ready for the question? Question. <laughs> come on, Robert, with your rules of order. Uh, anyway. This, this is good, this, this. Oh, All right. What was one thing, first question. Mm -hmm. I'm over here smashing my food. I, I must have been hungry there. What was one thing that completely changed about us as we got older? I guess you'll say one thing about me and I'll say one thing about you. About our relationship, about like each, about like, us as about, people. About us as people. Um. Excuse me. Your, for you, it was Houston. Like when you moved to, dealt with Houston and then moved back, that changed you as a person. We don't got time to go into all those details, but. If y'all want a story time, that's gonna have to be. It's gonna have to be. 
Right. It's bad, but that's that's the whole series. <laughs> um one thing that changed about you. That's hard. I, I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't prepared for that question. Cause Daniel has always been outspoken. I said the most thing that really changed about Daniel is like his height and like how how much well no, because you were active back then too. Jeez, you were active back then. <laughs> what that supposed to mean? That don't sound right. Well no, not like this. I was gonna say. No, but y'all Daniel used to be short and round. Oh, yeah. I don't know, but a lot of a lot of who you were then were. I mean, you matured more for sure, but like you've always been outspoken and mature for your age. Mm -hmm. That's hard for me to ask on Daniel. Maybe because if something needs to be said, he gonna say it. You might. Yeah. Next question. How many questions are we gonna do? I don't know. What are your ideas on kids and marriage and having a family of your own? Like whether I want them or not. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I I used to when I was younger, I used to think that I wanted children, and now that I teach children, I don't know that I want children. I got 149 of them. <laughs> I have 149 of them currently, <laughs> so um, I think I'm good. I, I think I'm good. But you're not always gonna be teaching. That is true. I just I don't know. I my thing is I, I, I don't think everybody realizes what it takes to raise a child when they get into um when they do what, what has to be done to make a child in whatever avenue they, they get the child. And I can't say that I'm ready to commit all that time to that. So as far as children, I don't know. As far as uh, marriage, yeah, I, I would like to be married one day. Um, absolutely, I, I definitely would. But as far as children, <sighs> that Bella is enough. Yeah. Including Bella, I have 150 kids. Uh, I'm a lot myself. Excuse me. You I are a lot. Negro, you too. I hey. know. I never said I wouldn't. I don't think for me, like, I think for women in general, we've always kind of been, it's kind of been looked upon that, like, you know, you have to find your partner and you have to get married and you have to have kids and this, this, and that. And the third, and like, back then, a lot of women did that, like, early on. Mm -hmm. Baby, I'm about to be 28. For those of y'all who thought I was 17, I am about to be 28. You do and, look 17, though. Know. That is a compliment, okay? Because, you know, black black women, we, black men and women, we, we look good, okay? We age very well. Anyway, but I don't know. It's like, it's I'm, I'm kind of in the mindset of, like, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Ideally, I would like to be married and I would like to have kids. Mm -hmm. But, baby, it is real ghetto out here. And don't nobody, ain't nobody consistent. Don't nobody want to commit. And just, it's the rest, the rest, rep, the reciprocity. Girl, you only <laughs> used that word because I said it earlier. No, I had made a post about it, but then I had, yeah, I had, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, y'all don't understand the number of times I say a word and then all my little circle be saying the word. I be like, have some decorum. <laughs> That's my word. <laughs> I tell my students that y'all lack decorum. Y'all do. Uh, where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, I hate this question. <laughs> I hate questions like this because... You don't have to answer it. Well, no. The, I, I mean, I'll, I'll answer as best as I can. I hate questions like this because I'm... I, I, I mean, Maya and I were both in therapy. And one thing that I, I work through in therapy is sort of letting go of this rigid... I've always had a rigid structure in my life. Like, it, it was to the point that I would schedule everything. But I would... I, when I was an undergrad, I, I would have my class me. schedule. I would schedule... I would uh, I would write in my schedule. I would schedule my, my day by the 30 minutes, by the half hour. If I had to walk from my apartment to, to campus... I, I, used to, I used to schedule everything... I, 
brother standing up trying to be nosy. I used to schedule everything out, and now I'm to a point to where like I, I've gotten out of that, and I, I don't want to fall back into that habit. I mean, I, I still have a routine, and and I'm a, it's a consistent routine. But as far as where I see myself in five years, I mean, I I, I see myself happy. I see myself. Um, enjoying what I do. I, I, I see myself taking time for myself. I, I see myself, um, you know, with someone and in a place that makes me happy. And, and that's like, that's it as far as like work and maybe I don't dream of work. I don't dream of labor. That's, that's not, no. I don't, I don't mm -mm. Where do you see yourself in five years since you posed the question? No, I can agree because it's like I have that same like mindset. I think typically when we think of that question, it's like people automatically jump to, oh, I'm going to be working here. You know, I'm going to be married to this person. I'm going to have however many kids. But mm. it's I think generally... Like for me, I just want like overall happiness and to, to be to feel like I'm living my life and not mm. just merely existing um, in this world. Like you know, so I would I would say the same thing. Let me take this picture because he he's sitting over there making it look. I love me a sugar cookie. I know this is a good cookie. It's mm. a good cookie. Mm. And it's hot. Right. But y'all, we just sat up here and got full. We didn't know how many questions we was gonna ask. We was just gonna answer and a couple questions. And our camera finna die, so. All right. So we gonna go ahead and log off. If y'all wanna answer any of these questions, we would love to hear y'all's responses to any of the three questions that we answered. So if y'all have a response, just leave it down in the comments below. Before you click off this video, we thank y'all for watching all the way through. Make sure you give us a like, leave a comment down below, hit that subscribe button. If you're new to our channel and you watch this video all the way through, you might as well go ahead and subscribe so you can see us and you can see Bella in the next video. We love y'all and we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Peace.